On February 17, 2017, just days after the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, Indiana State Police Master Trooper Taylor Bryant drew the second released Delphi Suspect sketch. While most of his time is spent patrolling the highway, Trooper Bryant has done about 70 sketches for police departments across the state, including this high-profile picture we've seen a lot. The man police believe killed Abby and Libby in Delphi. It was a sketch created from a witness. That's about all I can say. This face and that witness he's not allowed to talk about since the investigation's still active. But it's a sketch he really hopes leads to an arrest. Yes, I believe, you know, the whole country here really would like to see something come of this. Master Trooper Bryant also did an interview with the Indy Star explaining the process of creating that sketch with an eyewitness who, quote, reported seeing something they felt needed to be reported, end quote. That article, as well as several others, one with the video interview, are of course listed in the description. Master Trooper Bryant explains in detail how he meets with a witness and no other members of law enforcement. They use a book of facial features created by the FBI for the witness to select characteristics that match the individual in question. And he describes how he went through this process with an eyewitness on February 17, 2017, to create the second released Delphi Suspect sketch. Now, let's talk about facial composite sketches that have been developed from DNA. Here is Dr. Ellen Graytack, Director of Bioinformatics at Parabon Nanolabs, discussing some of the most simple and basic of facts about DNA phenotyping with Richard Schlesinger of 48 Hours. What characteristics can you identify and predict? Eye color is the easiest because it's almost 100% genetic, and then uh, probably hair color, skin color, and freckling, and then face shape. You have helped close cases. You have helped find killers. Absolutely. We have helped solve quite a number of cases. So, I mean, you really can change the way these investigations are conducted. Right. And, and that's why, why detectives are coming to us, because they need this information. We're able to give them an objective description of the person that they're looking for, and especially allow them to eliminate people who really don't match that description. If this sketch were created by Parabon Nanolabs, it would have eye, hair, and skin color. These physical characteristics are far easier to determine than face shape, which we obviously have here. Law enforcement wouldn't decide to remove features that are statistically most likely to match and instead opt for the one that is less likely to be accurate. So, no conspiracy to dig up here. This is a composite sketch created by Master Trooper Taylor Bryant of the Indiana State Police, working directly with an eyewitness just days after the murders. And there are several articles and videos listed in the description so everyone can confirm this information for themselves. No one should rely on us YouTubers as the be-all, end-all of information. Any content creator who isn't thoroughly referencing valid and reliable resources for their claims should certainly be questioned as well as challenge to provide factual evidence to support their claims. And let us not forget, using information from a source without referencing is plagiarism. And the last thing I'd like to note is that using and twisting a family member's statements to support wild conspiracy theories is disrespectful and unfair to the innocent families who were also victimized by the murders of Libby and Abby. We do not know what led investigators to return back to this sketch that was made days after the murders, but some sort of technology could have simply led them back to this path. It does not imply that this is a Parabon sketch. And that being said, I'm going to wrap this up with the usual. If you know or become aware of any information that could help investigators positively identify the suspect on the bridge, or if you have any information about the Anthony Schatz accounts, then please contact the tip line as soon as possible. And keep yourself and your loved ones safe out there.